Hey guys, um, I wanted to make a video talking about like just a couple things I've been I've been thinking about recently um, with the with the game and being on console and everything. Uh, I figured I could I could just make a video talking about it with like gameplay in the background, but I figured that's kind of boring. <laughs> So I decided to just put on a build, and I'm going to talk about it live. It's going to be kind of off the top of my head. Um, like before we start, I'm having an insane amount of uh, back like pain right now. Uh-oh. Um, and so if you ever hear me, like, grunting or, like, ooh, <laughs> or, like, groaning, I, I swear that's because of the back pain that I'm having and not any other reason, okay? So yeah, but uh, so recently I've been playing um, a lot of crossplay off because I play on Xbox, and I've been playing a lot of crossplay off just to see what it's like, and it sucks. It's horrible. It's the worst. Watch this. Never mind. Um, it's it's horrible. I mean, if you ever get the chance to do it, just don't even bother. It's not worth it at all. It you will. It deteriorates your mental health very quickly. Um, and so... Uh, I'm going to be losing my train of thought a lot here. Uh-oh. He doesn't know there's a pal here, right? Oh! <laughs> okay, uh... Hold on. I don't make that. Uh, <coughs> yeah, so I've been playing a lot of crossplay off. So I've been playing with a lot of Xbox players. And right off the bat, yeah, the teammates, the teammates, man. Oh, absolutely just the, the worst. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about. Like, that's a given that the teammates are going to be bad because it's Xbox and Xbox players don't care at all. Um, I'm dead here. Why did I vault that? So I've been noticing a pattern with, um, with killers on Xbox. Um, if you ever watch, like, I think, how do you pronounce his name? Sway? Sweet? He's a really, really, he's honestly probably a perfect example of this. You see this in, in just every other game he plays. He never plays toxic. He never flashlight clicks. He never, never crouch spams. And yet he still seems to somehow make killers so angry uh, just every he, he without fail just makes killers so so angry so every time a killer gets angry they're gonna tunnel you and camp you obviously and with casual players this happens a lot more often and i'm about to go to second stage and he came down here why <laughs> go away so with casual players you'll find that xbox for some reason, Dead by Daylight, the way that they advertise the game, especially to casual new players, is that it's a it's a horror game. That's what they want people to think. Um, and so people go into it thinking it's a horror game, so they have a horror game mindset. They think they have to hide. They think hiding is number one priority. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, and of course, in Dead by Daylight, hiding is the least efficient thing you could possibly do. But also, when people see a horror game where you can play as the killer, obviously, they're going to think, that sounds awesome, I'm going to play as the killer. So that's why you get most new people and most casual players playing killer, right? Well, put, if, if you're not a beginner yourself, put yourself into the mindset of a, a brand new killer, right? What, like, what it sounds like the most logical, reas reasonable thing to do? You hook someone, you kill someone, you hook someone, and then you sit there and you stare at them and you guarantee their death. Uh-oh, I got stuck on a wall. And you sit there and you you stare at them and or you, you hover around them and you make sure that they die. And if someone else... Uh-oh. Uh, if someone else... Uh... Hold on. Okay, just just go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, uh well, I don't. Uh, okay, he's breaking it. 
So it, it makes sense that a killer would camp in, in tunnel, because that just... I mean, that makes sense. That's logical, right? Like, that's re pretty reasonable, like, thinking. Um, for a person who can't really, you know, doesn't really know what they're doing, for the most part. Um, I am a bit trapped here. Oh, he doesn't know, though. Nice. Does he even know I'm here? I have Iron Will. He might have just... Hold on. <laughs> Gotta focus up here. Um, why do I do better when I'm not paying attention? Bruh. So it makes sense. I, it makes sense that you would camp, camp in tunnel. But you get so much of that on Xbox. And you get a lot of what I was saying earlier uh, with, with Sui. You get a lot of killers who get very mad very easily, um, unrightfully, right? So if you're like flashlight clicking and, and you know, crouch spamming and camping pallets and being super toxic on purpose, like unreasonably, unnecessarily, you deserve to be tunneled. But if not, then you don't, obviously. I missed that timing, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Um, yeah, I knew that was late. The second I, I went for it, I knew it was late. Um, so you get a lot of that on Xbox. And the people who don't play on Xbox or people who don't play with crossplay off don't really get that. They don't really understand that because they don't have to experience that. But it, it, it's, it's a problem. It's horrible. Let me tell you how every single, and, and without fail, there is no exception. And I'm not, I'm not just exaggerating. I'm not just trying to be dramatic. There is no exception to this. You join an Xbox lobby. One person in the lobby goes down, whether that's you or that's someone else. And then that person goes down again and gets hooked a second time. And then that person go goes down again and gets hooked a third time, and they're dead. And the killer, every single time, will take out one person at a time. They will not play normally, basically. They will, they will just play like, like the e example of what, what a toxic killer... Hold on, I can't th think straight. I'm going to try to see if I can hold him. Seems like a very holdable guy. Buddy. <laughs> I don't... Um... Nice. <laughs> okay. What was I saying? I forgot. Okay, yeah, so that's how every game goes, is one person gets completely tunneled out of the match, one at a time. You will never see two people who have been hooked two different times. You will it will always be one at a time. And and I can't tell you how many times I'll play with crossplay off and I'll get killers because I ran I you know, I blinded them one time, or I like 360 them, or I ran them for like a, a singular gen at least. And they get so they take it so personally so fast, it's actually absurd. Okay. I don't think he likes me. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he likes me, because Steve is literally teaming with him. Oh. Oh, they're teaming. I see. Okay, so he's teaming and showing everyone where everyone, everyone's location is. Okay. So you get a lot of people who get really angry really quickly and take things really personally really fast. There it is. Okay. Um. So yeah, you get a lot. You get a lot of that. You see a lot of that, and it's really just—it's not fun, because every killer you get has horrible ping. Every killer you get tunnels and camps, and every killer you get, you're not allowed to run them for more than forty-five seconds, or they will immediately guarantee your death for the rest of the match. I want to say, if I had to blame anyone, it would definitely be the devs. I think the de developers do a horrible horrible job at now what's the word not the word not convincing but they do a really bad job at 
trying to um, lower the rate of tunneling and camping. Tunneling and camping is extremely overpowered. Like, yeah, there's some counters to it, obviously. There's a BT, there's DS. But that's, pr I mean, that's that's pretty much it. And if it's a Bubba, that's, I mean, it's game over. There's l there's actually nothing you can do. Imagine you're playing Call of Duty. You're just playing normally, and then the, the developers, they break into your house. N well, okay. Yeah, I know, yeah, okay, I'll commit to that. They break into your house. They break into your house, and they set this button down on the desk in front of you. And let's assume that you're playing at a desk, okay? And they set it down in front of you, and they say, you just play the game normally, but if you ever get even a, a tiny bit frustrated, or you think for even for a millisecond that you might be losing, or even if you just, you just want to, just for whatever reason, you hit this button, you press this button, and you will have a 99% chance of winning that game instantly, right? Obviously, that's not what's happening in Dead by Daylight, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to get at, right? Tunneling and camping is a pretty much foolproof way to get more kills than, honestly, what you deserve, which is why so many new players get it. And I think that... I think the developers do that on purpose. And I think the reason for that is... Like I said earlier, new players tend to gravitate, I believe that they tend to gravitate toward killer. At one point they did. I think they, I think they gravitate toward kill, killer. Um, and so, and this kind of, this happens with every single game. You'll notice this with every game. I think Fortnite's a good example of this, where they started kind of neglecting the older players and started only focusing all their attention on the new players. Because the new players are where you, that's, that's where you get all your money. That's where they get all their money. That's their source of income, is all the new players. It's all the casual players. And so sometimes game companies can neglect the older, you know, the older players who have put in more time and have more experience. And I think that's what's happening with Dead by Daylight. Tunneling and camping is something that new players do. And so the developers think that nerfing it is going to make new players frustrated and it's going to make them leave. But if tunneling and camping is really good, if it's really overpowered, then it's going to make the new player think that they're better than they actually are, if that makes sense. And it's going to make them want to come back, which is the it's the goal of the company, right? Make new people want to come back. Cuz that raises the chances of them paying for a new killer, a you know, a cosmetic, whatever it is that raises the chances so much higher if they come back. If they can get a dedicated customer, they will make so much money off of that customer, which is why they want to give a new player a good experience. Same with Fortnite. They only focus on giving brand new players the best possible experience. And I think that's exactly what's happening with Dead by Daylight, and I think um, having console with crossplay off is the perfect environment to really witness that. Because, especially at low rank, because you really see all of these players that don't know what they're doing, but yet they're still winning because because the game caters so hard to their play style. And it's, obviously it's not their fault, I'm not blaming them, I'm not saying it's their fault. Because it's not. Like, it's, it's hard to not get frustrated at a game. If someone's just doing better than you, that's kind of frustrating, right? But I, I, I've never, ever understood that like tunneling and camping i don't play killer much but i've never tunneled and camped at least on purpose and of course i'm, I'm sure I've, t I've camped i mean camping is a valid strategy sometimes you have to to secure a kill at like end game or something so it is it is something that sometimes you have to do it's not always considered toxic but most of the time when it's used it is used for a toxic purpose but i've never understood using it when someone's better than you at the game so, like, again, what I was saying with, with Sui was he won't do anything toxic. He won't lead on, like, he won't do anything that in the community is ever considered to be even slightly toxic. He'll just play the game to his best ability. And he does well because he's good at the game. That makes people really angry. And so every other video he comes out with, he has, like, a, a killer camping him or tunneling him every single time. Every single time. Without fail. And it sucks that the community has gotten to this point where... Killers get so, and I'm not saying the survivor community is 
perfect. They're far from it. Like, there's, they have so much of their own problems, too. But the fact that you can throw down a pallet and stun a killer, and in the, that killer's mind, they're like, okay, I'm going to sacrifice my entire game to kill this one person. That is un- unbelievable to me. That <laughs> I've never understood it because all that shows to me, if a killer, if I run a killer for th- at least like three gens, three, four, five gens, and they, I've noticed that they aren't leaving me and now they're starting to bloodlust me. They aren't really thinking straight. They're kind of swinging at everything and they aren't really trying to mind game at all. I, first of all, I know that I'm in, I'm in their head and they're frustrated and second of all, I know that they've decided that they're going to sacrifice their whole game to kill me. And I'm not a toxic... I don't ever be toxic. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm not perfect, but I'm not a toxic player. Um, but I know that s- sometimes just playing the game is toxic. You're not allowed to be good at the game, basically. Whenever I notice that a killer is doing this, whenever I've finally figured out okay the, this person is sacrificing their whole game to make sure that i die what does that do that gives you some sort of that gives the killer some sort of satisfaction for a few seconds right but you think about it for a second and the killer isn't going to get enough points to rank up they might even not they might even derank while the survivor the survivor definitely will at least not derank they're probably going to rank up because they're, gonna, they're getting so much points from being in chase. So it's not to force a survivor to derank because that doesn't work. It's not to show that you're better than the survivor because it's already been established that the survivor's better than you. Clearly, because they've ran you for however many generators. So it's already established this person's better than you at the game. And as long as they're not being toxic, that's totally okay. But it's not okay to take it personally. To me, I wanna, I wanna end the video on this. Uh, don't tunnel in camp, not for the sake of trying to make the community better, although that's a great thing too, that's what you should be focusing on too, but just to not make yourself look stupid. Because if you tunnel in camp someone, all that's saying is, I'm worse than you at the game and I can't handle that. So I'm gonna risk a deranking so that I can, I can, <laughs> show you that I'm angry, I guess, or show you, show you who's boss, I guess. And, and so it just, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't make you look good. It doesn't, and I get that it's in the moment and like you're angry, right? And you're frustrated, but you got to stop to think about it logically. Like all that's going to do is show everyone in the lobby that you couldn't handle being beat and that you risked Possibly, you could have won that game, but you risked, you you sacrificed a possible win just so you could show this one survivor that them being better than you made you angry. It doesn't make any sense. All right. Um, sorry if I rambled a little bit. All right, guys. Good luck. Have fun. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye-bye.